Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we learn an application of Laplace transform and that is how to solve differential equations with the help of Laplace transform. And remember, the differential equation will be provided with boundary values. Boundary values means initial value and final value or initial value or the final values. Anyway, normally in your university, they give you the initial values. Now, look at this. Differential equations arise when we try to solve some real life problem. Maybe a problem related to wave or maybe a problem related to heat. So basically, when you're solving these questions and there are so many other other problems and when you solve these questions, you can easily access the initial condition, final condition. For example, when time equal to zero, what is the displacement value? When time equal to something else, what is the displacement value? These are called the initial condition, final condition. Now imagine a heat experiment. When time equal to zero, what is the temperature of that place? When time equal to something else or at the end of the experiment, what is the temperature? So like this, we can access the initial condition, final condition. So remember, you'll be given a differential equation with initial conditions or maybe final condition. Now, uh, to, to use Laplace transform, you have to by heart or memorize a few formulae. So first of all, I'll provide those formulae. So it goes like this. Laplace transform of y dash. By the way, in exam, they can ask questions with x dash also, y dash also, uh, maybe u dash also. So basically, you should be ready with any letter. It goes like s into Laplace of y minus the value of y when x equal to 0. Now, Laplace of y double dash. Now look at this, second order, I remember s square. So Laplace of y minus this s square will become s, s will become s to the power 0, that means it disappears. Now y of 0 minus y dash of 0. Laplace of y triple dash. So we should start with s cube. Now keep on decreasing the powers of s. So that will be s square y of 0 minus s y dash of 0 minus y double dash of 0. Now Laplace of y 4 dash or I'll just put 4. So how do you start? s power 4 Laplace of y minus come on s cube y of 0 minus s square y dash of 0 minus s y double dash of 0 minus y triple dash 0. Now, if you want to um, do these application questions, that means if you want to solve differential equation using Laplace transform, you should be very good in Laplace transform as well as Laplace inverse. In the last three, four lessons, we learned different, different, different methods to solve uh, Laplace inverse problems, right? So you should be very good with those problems. So write the first question, solve is equal to 0 where the initial conditions are y0 equal to 0, y dash of 0 is equal to 1. Now look at this, you have to understand like this, when, let's imagine the letters here are y and t. Imagine y is the dependent variable and it is given in terms of t. So solving a differential equation means we are trying to find the value of y in terms of t. You have done this in your first semester. So it is given that when t equal to 0, the value of y is equal to 0. If the values are y and x, here the second value variable is not given, so I can assume anything. But normally when we take Laplace, we convert everything into t. That is why I said y and t. So the method is like very, 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 very easy. The difficult part is finding the Laplace inverse. So what you do first is let it be any question, right? Taking Laplace on both sides. 
so we get 5y dash plus 6y is equal to Laplace of 0. Now Laplace is linear so we can split it and the constants come outside and Laplace of 0 will be 0. Now I told you you have to be very good with this formula. So Laplace of y double dash will be s square Laplace of y minus s into y of 0. Can you see the value is given here? We can plug in that value. Minus y dash of 0 minus 5 bracket. This bracket is very, very, very important because you will be writing two terms and this 5 belongs to both. So accidentally, if you forget bracket, you can forget about the marks. So Laplace of y dash is s into Laplace of y minus y of 0. Once more, I am repeating, this bracket is very, very, very important. Plus 6 times Laplace of y is equal to 0. Now, what you do is you plug in the initial conditions that they have given. So, s square L of y minus, what is this value? 0. So, that is gone. Minus, what about this? It is 1 minus 5 times s L of y minus what is y of 0 okay that's also gone minus 6 laplace of y equal to 0 okay this question seems to be very easy sometimes the inverse will give you trouble so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to collect the terms with laplace of y in every question in every question after you um, what you call simplify you will be able to see a few terms with Laplace of y. Write all the terms together. Then you write the remaining terms. Now what you do is take common Laplace of y s square minus 5 s is missing 5s plus 6 is equal to 1. Now look at this. You can confirm whether what you did is correct by looking at the question. The, look at this. The quantity along with this Laplace of y will be the coefficients. If you have done any mistake, at this point you can correct. So I just corrected. I forgot that s. I was able to realize it. And earlier I corrected this plus because I was able to realize that it should come the same thing. Now, Laplace of y is equal to 1 by s square minus 5s plus 6. Now, don't forget, solving a differential equation means finding the value of y in terms of the given variable. Here, the second variable is not given. So, I am assuming it, the second variable is t. So, I am going to write my solution y in terms of t. Now, it is done. All I have to do is I have to take Laplace inverse on both sides. So, this left side will be y and the right side will be 1 by s square minus 5s plus 6. Now comes the challenging part. We are very very near to the answer but we don't have the answer. And if you need the answer, it will be very good with Laplace inverse. Now come on, tell me. How do you find the Laplace inverse? We have a lot of methods now. You learn convolution, you learn partial fraction, you learn adjustment method. But I can see that we can factorize this. So I am going to uh, convert this part, the part inside the brackets into partial fraction. Uh, if you want, you can do it with convolution. Uh, but most of the students will feel comfortable with partial fraction method. Anyway, this is type 1. So, we apply the decomposition trick that we learned in the other video. So, tell me, um, when will this vanish? When s equal to 2. And you plug it everywhere other than s minus 2. So, you get 1 by minus 1. And this one s equal to 3, you get 1. That's it. Now, we'll plug in everything inside equation number 1. And we are ready to write the solution. I hope you are all done with the Laplace inverse formulae. So you get minus e power 2t 
plus e to the power 3t. That's the last solution. So that is a small video and I explained the method. Uh, let's do some difficult questions in the next video. So till then my friends, bye.